Hey all you people out there. You may be wondering what this is I have held up to my camera. You may think it's a brick. No, it's a solar panel. Today I am going to be talking about and partially reviewing the Bruton or Brunton or something solar panel battery maintainer sort of thing. Um it's 1.8 watts, and you probably see this blue thing flashing. Oh, not there. Right here. Um, that's a LED telling you that it is picking up solar arrays, even though I am in a room, with my blind shut, and just a fluorescent bulb in the, another fluorescent bulb up there. This is a special kind of solar panel. This is a amorphous solar panel. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I mean, it can pick up light from anywhere, no matter if you use a flashlight or not. Um, false light, artificial light, real light, or not a lot of sunlight, just able to see a couple miles. This thing will charge your batteries, charge your car, or and right here, like these little slots that it has on the end, you can shove them on your windshield. But I didn't bother to do that because I have something else in mind. Um, you all know, like from that airsoft gun review that you might have seen, if you haven't, look at it. That was just a cheap video we made because we were bored. Um, and it's not that accurate, but it was my first airsoft gun. Anyway, you noticed a tree fort over there. I am currently having this solar panel is going to be... I'm running like three 10 amp hour batteries, 12 volt in series to help power this, and this will be the recharger. So let me put away the solar panel right now. And it has a six foot long cord that leads an end to like right here. You may have noticed that on like the Sun Force sort of solar panels. But that's just so you can easily hook up an attachment. But a downside of this six foot long cable, look how thin that is. You, even though it's a 1.8 watt, 12 volt, you're probably going to come out with this entire cable stretched out. You're probably going to come out with about, uh, I'd say, maybe like 1, 1 1.3 watts because when electricity travels, it's just not like magic, it just stays great. It travels, but some of it gets left behind, and eventually that small little electron goes like poof, and disappears, it gets burnt up. So that's why not everything makes it, sort of like in television, because you're probably, I'm like five, I'm five foot one, but you're probably viewing me as like that tall little man. So basically the same thing. Anyway, back to that um, thing about this attachment. Most solar panels, they only give you like a cigarette lighter thing. It's fine, but not for me. Um, but this, it came with two battery clamps. And if you watch this, these two easily connect. They don't connect perfectly unless you're because I haven't gotten them worked into. But even though it's 1.8 watt, I would recommend that you still do not touch both of these together, even though it's never happened to me. I know that the electric pro electricity properties knows that you never touch um, both leads of a hot wire. Now, let me go get another attachment. Now this attachment is the cigarette lighter. Please try to ignore my blood, my brother back there. He's making a racket playing Call of Duty. Um, so it has the same basic thing right there that you can plug in like that, and then you can just plug into your car. Now let's get more on the like spec sort of property. Um and the money wise. 
I'd say this is a very good buy. Um, I got this for 20 bucks, 20, 25 dollars, and I've had this for about maybe a year. Works perfectly. Now, I don't know if you guys watching my video right now know anything about solar panels, and if you do, hold on. Um, sorry, that was my dad. Um, I am looking to make this design of a solar generator sort of thing. So I have a solar panel hooked up to a charge controller, hooked up to the three batteries in the series. Only, I'm looking for a multi-battery charge controller. So if you've ever heard of something like that, ever find something like that, please, please sake of mother nature comment on my video okay let me get you one last look at the solar panel hoping to do oh, upside down hoping to be doing a review or not a review but a overview of when it's fully completed but I need your help yes that's my math doing long work um here it is Figure we should end the video how it started.